The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, June 17, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Arizona Diamondbacks vs Minnesota Twins. Our team pick is. Minnesota for the win. And here is why. The Twins are already enjoying a strong season as they continue to lead the Isle Central and are only going to get healthier as one of their best starters in Sonny Gray returned from the Illinois on Wednesday to beat the Mariners. With neither team yet to score in the top of the seventh, Ryan Jeffers hit a clutch RBI single and the Twins added on the next inning with a Carlos Correa RBI double and Luis Ares two-run single. Gray threw five scoreless innings, allowing just three hits while striking out three. Griffin Jacks picked up a win with a clean inning in relief, striking out two. Jeffers added a double and a walk, in addition to the go-ahead hit to lead the Minnesota offense. The Diamondbacks have slowed down over the past two weeks after a surprisingly competitive start to the season, but will hope Wednesday's win to avoid a sweep against the Reds will provide a spark. Elect Thomas got Arizona on the board in the bottom of the second on an RBI double, before scoring on Geraldo Perdomo's two-run homer, while David Peralta later provided the RBI single in the eight that put the Diamondbacks up for good. Zach Golan turned in yet another strong outing with seven innings of two-run ball, allowing just two hits while striking out five. Perdomo had a multi-hit game while driving in three overall, while Peralta was 2-4 with a double, an RBI and two runs scored. Minnesota is 23-8 in their last 31 games as a favorite and 6-2 in their last eight games against the NL West, while the under is 6-0 in their last six games against a team with a losing record. Arizona is 19-41 in their last 60 series opening games and 3-7 in their last 10 home games, while the under is 3-0-1 in their last four home games against a left-handed starter. I get the case to be made for either side here, but I'm going to back the Twins. Madison Bumgarner can't catch a break, as he either gets rocked or when he pitches well, the D-backs can't pick him up offensively, as they've given Bumgarner no support in his last three starts. I'll back the Twins with a reasonable line here. Colorado Rockies vs San Diego Padres. Our team pick is. San Diego for the win. And here is why. San Diego suffered a four-game losing streak at the end of May and beginning of June, but the Padres have responded nicely since then. They have won 11 of their last 14 games and are entering this series on a four-game winning streak after sweeping Chicago at Wrigley Field. The series was not particularly close, as the Padres outscored the Cubs by a final tally of 41-15. San Diego has used its winning streak to take over first place in the National League West, leading the Dodgers by a half game as of Thursday afternoon. The Padres have also jumped up to number 14 in the MLB offensively, hitting at a .243 clip. Colorado was able to salvage a four-game split against San Diego last weekend with a pair of wins on Saturday and Sunday, but the Rockies are now on a three-game losing streak coming into this rematch. They were unable to keep pace with Cleveland earlier in the week, losing three games that were all decided by two runs or fewer. Colorado is wrapping up a six-game homestand this weekend. The Rockies are in last place in the NL West, trailing San Diego by 13 games in the standings. They are also nine games back of the final NL wild card spot, so their playoff hopes are quickly fading prior to the All-Star break. These teams just played each other last weekend, so there are plenty of data points to use heading into this series. I would expect some regression to the mean from both starting pitchers compared to their performances last weekend. Gore had been a shutdown starter in nine previous outings, so it was a shocking blemish on his resume. Freelance ERA remains over 4.3, and I would expect a much less dominant outing this time around. San Diego is also in better form after whipping the Cubs four straight days, while Colorado was swept by Cleveland. Our total pick is. Under 11.5 runs. And here is why. In the four games between these teams so far this season, they have averaged 6.5 runs per game and Coors Field does not equate for another five runs to be scored. The pitching has been better than expected as the Padres are fifth in the sport with a 3.32 team ERA, while the Rockies are 27th in the major with a 4.96 team ERA. 
neither offense has been hitting dingers this season as San Diego and Colorado are tied for 23rd in the sport with 54 homers. The under hit in five of the last seven games between them played in Coors Field. Go with under 11.5 runs to hit in this game. Houston Astros vs Chicago White Sox. Our team pick is. Houston Astros for the win, and here is why. The Chicago White Sox and the Houston Astros meet Friday in MLB action from Minute Maid Park. Chicago is coming off a series versus the Tigers. The White Sox won all three games in that set. As for Houston, they just finished up against the Rangers. The Astros were able to take two of three games in that one. Check back all season long for free MLB picks at Sports Chat Place. Chicago took on the Tigers this week and managed a nice sweep in three games. Monday was a 9-5 victory, then came a 5-1 win in Game 2 on Tuesday. In the finale, the White Sox exploded for 22 team hits in a 13-0 blowout victory. For the starter gig in the Friday game, the Sox will send out Johnny Cueto. Over six games, five starts, this year Cueto is 0-3 with a 3.53 ERA. In 35.2 innings he has 34 hits, 14 earned, 9 walks and 28 KS. Over on the Astros side, they took a loss 5-3 to the Rangers on Monday, but were able to bounce back with a tight 4-3 win in the Tuesday matchup. On Wednesday in the rubber match, the Astros posted a nice 9-2 win to take the series. I'm going to stay Houston here. Verlander has been solid this year, and he's really stacking up the innings lately. He's riding a string of 7.0 inning performances, giving up just 4 earned over his last 21.0 innings in 3 starts. As for Cueto, he's given up 9 earned in his last 3 starts over 17.0 innings, and is 0-2 in that time. I like Cueto to put up a quality start here, but it's probably still the Astros W to take. Our total pick is. Over the total, and here is why. The Astros are playing an electric brand of baseball this season. They come into this series with a sparkling 39-24 record and hold first place in the American League West by a whopping 9.5 games over the Rangers. They have a top 10 slugging percentage and have 80 home runs entering this series, the fourth most in the bigs. You can expect most of the runs in this game to come from the Astros banging around Gelito, but the White Sox should be able to muster some offense and drive the total up to where we wanted. The total number has gone over in 6 of Chicago's last 7 games overall, and 8 of their last 12 against the Astros. This has a 7-3 or 8-4 type of game written all over it. Trust the over here. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.